All right, music fans, welcome. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. So there's this meme that has now started to float around articles. Even the other day, I did a video about this, but there was one key sentence I missed. And it's this article about how Valerie Bertinelli has denied being Van Halen's Yoko Ono. <laughs> and the timeline of events is kind of interesting. And I'll explain that in a little bit here. So Valerie Bertinelli, she's out there promoting her new book. It's called Enough Already, Learning to Love the Way I Am Today. Total Oprah title for a book, if I've ever heard an Oprah title. A big part of that book is her relationship with her ex-husband, Eddie Van Halen. Now, Valerie has addressed the idea that she caused the band's split with singer David Lee Roth, though she does make it clear that Roth was the member of the band who disliked her. So again, I've already done a video about this, but here's where it gets a little more interesting. Um, she's on with Rob Lowe and his podcast, literally, with Rob Lowe. That's it. Um, after Ed and I became involved, all of a sudden, there was this rule that there were no girlfriends and no wives allowed on the road. Why did that rule go into effect? I mean, she's almost making the case that she was the problem. Why did they institute that rule all of a sudden? Well, before, before there were probably groupies everywhere, I would imagine. I'm not sure if anybody was married yet. I don't think so. I mean, I don't know everybody's marital history. Michael Anthony or Alex Van Halen. I'm pretty sure Dave never tied the knot, right? So this is kind of interesting. All of a sudden, they put this rule into effect. She goes on, and this part I've already covered. I got along great with Al and with Mike. It was someone else, dun, dun, dun. And I don't know why he didn't like me, <laughs> but what are you gonna do? I don't know why he didn't like me. I mean, I was always nice to him. I honestly don't know. Well, we're not sure if Paul McCartney had a problem with Yoko Ono. Yoko was really nice to Paul. In fact, she sang music with Paul. It was hideous music. And Paul went along with it, probably, to keep the Beatles together. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that was, you watch that Beatles documentary, and it's just like, she's just, Yoko's just glued to John. And you're thinking to yourself, all right, is someone going to do an intervention here? No, because it, it is kind of awkward, right? Um, anyway, you've got other issues going on. You had George, who was just getting tired of being the third wheel who, you know, was getting pushed to the side every time he had an idea. Well, I have an idea. No, nope, sorry, George. You've already figured this out. So I don't know the truth about this rule, if they instituted this rule because of her, but it is kind of weird that this sentence pops up in this article, and I hadn't read this before. You know, all of a sudden, there was this rule. Now, here's what's interesting about the Van Halen timeline. So yes, Dave quits, Sammy comes on board, very risky. The band was at their peak and everybody wanted to know, Dave, why would you do this? Well, supposedly he had a movie career. That's, that's one narrative and his solo career and he thought he could do this better. Why he would think he could do this better without the band he had, which was a juggernaut is kind of ridiculous. So any sort of clear thinking person would say, no, no, that's a dumb reason to leave, to you know, try to form my own band and try to top uh, my old band. And they were competing, you know, it's, uh, you know, the album titles and things, OU812, Eat Them and Smile, you know, that, that stuff's kind of cool, but um, it would have been better, I think, if Dave had stayed. As much as I love Sammy, imagine all of the music the band would have made with Dave and with that band moving forward 
And Sammy, I'm sure his solo career would have continued to get bigger and bigger as time went on. But it's good that Sam was in Van Halen. I don't have any problem with that. It was one of those big events of the 1980s, but maybe that big event didn't have to happen. And then you fast forward, right? So obviously Sammy has a falling out or Ed and Sam, they fight and Sam leaves. And <laughs> that's at that point, Van Halen is kind of toast, you know, um, with all apologies to Gary Sharon, who's a great singer, but that was just Mitch Malloy would have been 10 times better. Just throwing it out there. Cause if you wanted more of what Dave was about and a guy who looked the part and was a great front man, then I would have gone with Mitch Malloy. Um, but they didn't, and that's fine. Uh, anyway, so guess what happens? Uh, right around the time where Ed gets his divorce from Valerie Bertinelli, Dave comes back to Van Halen. 2007, right? No more Valerie. So is it plausible? Yeah. In fact, you know, Dave was there from that point forward, right till the end. And he was Van Halen's lead singer. I mean, they would have kept going if Ed was in any condition to do that, but he wasn't. So this is rather interesting. It's just the timing of it. You would think, okay, you know, Dave's thinking Sam's gone. Valerie's gone. Okay, I'll do this again. Sure. Why not? And uh, <laughs> it's, I, I look, maybe this is just crazy speculation here, but she opens a can of worms here. She lets the genie out of the bottle about the no wives allowed. And maybe that's old school, like all the old Van Halen fans, they knew this already about the rules they had set up. And Dave might have done that just to instill some discipline, or he would have done it all of a sudden, as she says, because she was a pain in everybody's ass. And so maybe that was what he was trying to do. He had bad memories of watching the Beatles break up. I don't know. But it's interesting. Uh, you know, it's hard to verify. You'd have to talk to uh, Sam and Michael and Alex. And Alex doesn't talk a lot. I think Michael Anthony might spill the beans. Maybe he had a problem, too, with... Valerie, and hence that's why he was kind of put out to pasture, you know, even though what's weird is Wolf comes in and it's, I don't know, it's, it's just, you don't, you don't really know the dynamics here and the relationships and the personalities. I'm just kind of spitballing, as they say, and maybe something will hit the wall and maybe someone in an interview will ask another question, but they probably need to interview one of the remaining members of Van Halen who could probably vouch for uh, the personality conflict, which appears to be a real problem here, because otherwise she wouldn't mention it. And then she didn't want to mention Dave by name, but then, you know, she more or less does. She just says, dude, and, you know, I think you're brilliant. Why don't you like me? Because you're probably hanging all over the lead guitar player and he needs to get to work. You know, I mean, I don't, I wasn't there, I don't know, but based on that Beatles documentary, I mean, I'm surprised John could even play the piano, you know? It's just like, get out of his way, but stay home, or at least just go into the background, you know, go, go a little further away. I mean, these are really important people at that moment, creating music, you know, stand back a little bit, but we'll never know for sure. Maybe there needs to be another tell-all book you know, that, uh, I mean, somebody probably knows, and this maybe there's been stuff written already about this, and I just haven't heard it yet, but this is pretty interesting, because this is making headlines in a few places, and um, if I were Valerie Bertinelli, I would just stick to, you know, whatever the title of this book is, learning to love yourself the way you are today, or whatever, and she's like, enough already. It's like, look, I'm not wanting to add fuel to her you know, grief or whatever, but uh, maybe she should have left this chapter out, you know, or at least said, I don't know, Rob Lowe. It's just a coincidence that um, Dave left and, you know, I was there a lot. And then all of a sudden there was a rule that girlfriends weren't allowed. <laughs> just a coincidence. All right. 
That's my video on the topic done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Uh, Patreon for just a buck a month, people. I need your help. It's very expensive to buy fuel for this studio. I'm just kidding. There's no fuel needed. But if there was, I could use that. But I do have to drive places. <laughs> and it's rough out there. Although it did come down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're only in the astronomical zone instead of the insane asylum area of gas prices, but I'm sure it's just a head fake. And then a week from now, it'll go up like a dollar and it'll be all Vladimir Putin's fault, ladies and gentlemen. It's all Putin's fault, man. Just Vladimir. He's a bad dude.